Yeah, I know you're jealous, Buster. I know you're jealous. Oh, well, we're about to transfer this. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, friend. Oh, my gosh. How long you been there for? Wow, you kind of startled me there. You really snuck up on me. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Um, this juicy uh, steak here. Yeah, I don't mean to tempt you much or nothing but uh, there you go I, yeah just uh, out of the cast iron here um, real tasty well um, hopefully it's tasty it sure looks like a beaut I mean sizzle sizzle you bring the steak I'll bring the sizzle right <laughs> that's what they say out there yeah not where you're from though huh okay never heard that before well hey you know <laughs> welcome I, I wish I had another steak I, it, luckily it's a thick cut maybe we can share that of course I got some uh, beautiful mushrooms over here I got certainly got plenty of those so uh, we'll see what we can come up with maybe I got some chicken wings I can thought out in there but um, yeah what was I oh the plastic wrap and, and the foil yeah yeah you know you see you get a pan like this it's got a decent lip underneath and there's this method for uh, covering where uh, it's really counterintuitive I do seem to do that quite a bit here in my own kitchen but uh, you take the plastic film yeah, right here, uh, just some good old standard plastic film, and then you gotta put that on top of this, and then and then you gotta put uh, foil right on top of that, and uh, what ends up happening is you get a really nice seal on this. Now, and I know, I know, trust me, I, I well, I was thinking the same thing. You know, the first time a colleague of me, uh, of mine, <laughs> me, <laughs> mine, uh, told me about this. I'm thinking that plastic's gonna melt all over the dish here. Well, it turns out not to be the case. It actually forms this nice tight seal in there. It's gonna be keeping all the moisture in just perfect, even better than a lid on top of a pan or something. But uh, yeah, so let's go go ahead and do this here. Uh, so we got our plastic wrap and uh, we just talked about. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, we got that. And like I say, try to get around that lip. You want to kind of tuck it in. So get a pan that's got a decent lip on it. Because what you really want to do is you want to get that plastic tucked nice and tight underneath your uh, foil. That's what we're trying to do. Yeah. Yeah, you got a nice tight seal. So um, I like to rip my foil off like this person. I don't need to have it right in front of the pan as it were. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. And so, yeah, we're just going to place it right on there. And get right under the lip like that it's just incredible this nice tight seal it creates oh yeah perfect perfect there you go uh, there you go yeah it's just incredible now we're gonna put this in the oven whenever my oven's ready I wanted to get a good sear on it first over here so yeah, yeah, next time, you, yeah, well, you know, you can use it on the mushrooms, too, yeah, yeah, I just didn't, I just didn't do those this time, uh, well, not yet, anyways, I've still got to wash them and all that fun stuff, but anyways, just so you know, this has been a Kitchen Corner Quick Tip on Today with Paul, I want to thank you for sharing, liking, and subscribing, as always, and, of course, I hope to catch you next time, peace.